Okay, hello guys. Welcome back to another card tutorial. Today we are going to be redoing um, how to mesh. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you guys how to mesh your car without even having to scale it. Uh, I think it's going to make you guys' life way easier. I'm just using Autodesk, which is also easy. So, <clears throat> first thing what you're going to do is you're going to get whatever part you're going to mesh. So I already have it done, as you see there. You can get whatever part you want, so you take your foam bumper and mesh it, or your fenders, or whatever. Make sure you mesh everything separately, so you won't get the triangle. Over. So, yeah, I'm going to grip this car. Or a hood. Now, when you go to view, on the top, you're going to see explore, properties, toolbox, you're going to want those three. Okay, so in the explore, you're going to click your part, right? And it's going to be highlighted in blue. Now you're going to right click it. And then you're going to go to export selection. In export selection you can name it whatever. And you can put wherever you want. So I'm going to name it hood tutorial. Okay. Once you have that. You can go to blender. I will put blender in the. Uh, description. If you don't not have it. So once you're in here. You're going to look on the top right, you're going to see cube, you right click it, and you press delete. Now on the top left, you're going to see file. In file, you're, uh, we're going to click file. And then once you're in file, you're going to go to import. And once you're in import, you're going to go to obj. Wavefront.obj. Click it. Now, you can go to system bookmarks, and you'll look for the spot. You'll look for your obj file. I put mine in desktop, and you can see the name, I named mine hoodtutorial.obj. So you can click it, and you can import it. Now you see it's going to be over there. You don't have to worry about it. Now what you can do is you can go to, you can go to right here, type of active data display. You can go to, once you're in here, you can go to length. You can click length, and then you're going to metric. Now, once in unit scale, you can delete all that and put 0 0.01. Now everything should be closer. And it's over there. Okay. Now, now what you're going to do is you can go to File, Export, and then FBX File. Now you can place it wherever you want. I'm going to name it right here. Boop. Why not? Okay. Now you can close off your blender. Now back to your studio. What you're going to do is you're going right, to uh, right click the base plate. Insert object. Mesh part. Alright. Now in your properties you're going to see mesh ID. Next to it you're going to see a folder. You want to click that folder. Well, now once you're in here, you're going to go to where you placed your, um, your file. And here I found bloop. Now you're going to open it. Yes. And it's going to say multiple, multiple meshes detected meshes were joined. That's fine. And there you see, it's perfectly fine. It perfectly loaded in. Now, there's a way to put it on a little bit easier and a little bit more correct. You're going to go to the middle part of your hood, of the part hood. You're going to take the position. Once you have the position, you can delete the old one. And go back to your mesh hood. And then you go to position and properties, and then you put it there. What you have in here, you just adjust it to make it where it fits. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial. Uh... If you guys are wondering why I haven't done certain tutorials like uh, how to do wraps, it's because when you upload decals onto Roblox, you have a chance of getting banned. So, yeah, I don't want to get you guys banned. And then I'll get blamed for it. So, yeah, that's not good. And there you go. There you go. I see you have the hood on. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you.